And for the way about the Bad Man Hurricane, it is actually July the 2nd, 2020. I just did it on the video, but I can do it again. <laughs> but I just changed it to my sweat out suit. This is my sa sauna sweat suit. What this does is help um, me sweat more and release toxins. So um, I, I had to be at work at 7, got off at 3. I mean, whoops. I supposed to get off at 3. I just realized that. I didn't get off till 4. My schedule is to 3. I stay here till 4. I thought I was at 4. Oops. Oh my goodness. And no one told me to get off the clock. I didn't know. Oops. Okay. I'm going to tell them for the one. Anyway, I just realized that. No one told me to get off the clock. I had to do it purposely. I got to show them. Anyway, um, so what this does, this sauna suit, it, it, you know this. I Well, I'm assuming. You, you know, because I, I, when I got it, I showed you. I was so happy. Um, it helped me sweat and release and release extra toxins from my body. So not only does the herbs cleanse me, it, it also um, let me put on my mask. The, the herbs that we're taking for more herbs, um, the parasite cleansing and other um, cleansing herbs, blood and lift. Um, we're on the vegan vegetarian diet. We eat raw fruits and vegetables, or we um, do our raw fruit uh, smoothies in the morning. But we also, um, me, I, I, um, I used the sweat sauna to exercise. When the gym was open at American Senate Day, I would jog on the treadmill with it. But it closed because of the coronavirus. Hold on. So now, what I do is put it on as much as I can now. I decided to. I just recently, as I got off work, I got to let them know that I didn't know. I didn't know I was supposed to get off at three. I mean, I, I knew, but I forgot. I didn't mean to stay an extra hour. So my schedule is four all day. This only day I really um, have three. Let me let them know. So no, I didn't do it on purpose. If you don't mind. Let me see if I can get this I was going to tell Mr. Thomas something. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I'm going to let him know. I, didn't, I, I thought I got off at 4. I didn't mean to stay an extra hour, but I did. I thought I got off at 4. Mr. Thomas, yes. I just got off the clock, but I didn't realize. I forgot I got off at 3 today, cause I'm, and I, I stayed an extra hour. I didn't know. And I just realized that that I um, my schedule was at 3. This only day my schedule was at 3. I didn't stay purposely, right? but no one told me to get outside. I didn't know, but I, I did. I did work all the way through. Okay, I didn't realize that, Dwayne. I had no. I, I mean, I was, I was tired too. I was like, oh, <laughs> I was definitely um, got up well. No, I, I, no, I would. I would not ride the clock or anything like that. But I, I, I need the hours. So anyway, so I have on my sauna suit. Let me take off the mask now. So I, what I do is, you know, I, I um. Next to um, the the um, bathroom is uh, really thin. Um, I always uh, speak about um, how thin some walls are. Um, like you know, I get completely undressed. You you know you have to um, get undressed, but then you gotta use the bathroom. And so uh, um, next to it was Carl, the owner. He was here today. Um, he's tough unless he came on nationality. But um, I don't know if he stayed there all the way through. So I was hearing him talk a little bit. Um, you know, we'll, and um, then, the, then, um, so today I work with, so what I'm doing now is walking, and see the sun is shining, and so usually after I get through my walk, it takes me about, when I walk slow, it takes me 40 minutes to walk, so I keep, I, I don't only have on my sauna suit, but I also have on a, um, I also have on a belt. Um, it, it helps um, my waist. It helps me uh, sweat along the waist as well. So, um, and then I have on my pants. These I have a swan of pants. I have on an extra pair of pants. Uh, it's a they're um, they're pretty good. They're um, yoga pants. So this really helps with um, sweating and um, releasing extra toxins. So usually I'm running lightly or jogging lightly to go, get to work on time and walking. But um, on my way back, because of my schedule changed and with the gym being closed, I haven't been able to get my exercise in like I want. So this is what I do. So um, 
Anyway, make a long story short, today is July the 2nd, 2020. Um, so, you know, um, let's see. I, um, today was a okay day. I did feel sharp pains around my ankle. Um, today, um, after a while, it did stop. As I was um, giving testimony, I was, giving, I was talking in the bathroom um, in the first video, but I, I said the wrong date, so I'm doing this video. I'm um, in the bathroom at Burger King when I was changing into these clothes. Um, I started to feel sharp pains again around my ankle. But um, all I was, let's see, mainly um, today was a balance. Today it was pretty steady. Um, I work with the manager Thomas. He's a black male, unless he came in nationality. Um, uh, Phyllis, he's a, she's a, or will be an African American male. Um, Phyllis, um, she's African American. These are managers, unless she came in nationality. That's what I would describe her as, or black. I don't. I don't, I don't know. I don't know them personally. On um, the pale skins, again, um, let's see, I start with um, Katie. She came in later, right, when I was, uh, when, excuse me. I wouldn't say that. I just said I worked with her for a short, I worked with her today. Okay, now we're crossing the road. So I work, um, let's see, who else? Who else? That's actually who I spoke with just a few moments ago. Uh, let's see. Um, Jet and Jet. Um, I'm drinking water, and I bring my own cup. Now, um, I've been doing that ever since Miss Phyllis and Thomas said that we supposed to use courtesy cups. For drinks and um, she called me a thief after I was telling her about what oh about the guy um, they call him Parker Mr. Parker uh, what Carl said about him not getting a large cup after when he pays for a senior or a small he came in today and someone gave him he paid for a small because I gave him the bag of food but um, someone gave him a large cup he left out so he's still getting a large cup and he only paying for a small. Um, so who else did I work with? Uh, let's see. It was um, uh, Spanish speaking. Uh, Christina, there's a new girl. I forgot her name. And um, then um, Christina, let's see. Who else? Oh, Hamima. And as for African American co workers, it will be Delray, Khalid, Tracy, and uh, oh, I forgot Daryl, he's Kelsky. And these are all, I don't know them personally. I don't know if they came a nationality or not. So, um, that's it pretty much. I can, Tracy, and that's it. Uh, so, who else? Am I missing someone? I don't think so. Oh, Jet, and then Jet, she's Kelsky. Um, I had to correct her today again. Um, after I had a conversation with Mr. Call about Thomas say, addressing a customer with Mo, uh, I mean addressing me with Mo, and also hearing him say Mo to the customers, the next day, Jada, she was speaking, she addressed me without my name, and, or not calling me by my name, and I corrected her. It sounded derogatory, and she didn't apologize, and she kept saying something smart after I spoke to Carl. So that was. It was right after the next day when I came into work and I worked with her that morning or that early day, excuse me. So today she did the exact same thing. She called me baby or bae and I corrected her again. She didn't apologize and uh, it's like she, she might have said something smart. I just, you know, even that day when she did it, um, I, I reminded her how she corrected me when she first came to the store when I called her by the wrong name. And I respected what she said ever since. She said, call her Jet. I said, okay, I'll call you Jet. <laughs> I, and I told her, I, and I apologize. I said, I'm so, you know, excuse me. I didn't mean to just do that. And, I, and, she, and we seemed to be good on that. But um, definitely the day after I spoke to Carl about Thomas saying Mo, she was, in that, that next early day, she seemed to do it purposely out of anger. So I don't know. Um, I don't know her if she's claiming nationality. 
but she would be considered pale skin if you described her. Um, so I said, um, today I thought it was odd. I could be wrong, but sometimes I would hear Miss Villa say she loves your son for a while now, just like I would hear Thomas say mo to the customers. And by the way, one time so Thomas is still saying that. Um, but the other day when he said it to a customer who was a pale skin, I could tell that the customer was irritated because uh, what happened was he greeted the customer when he walked in by saying mo. The customer gave him an odd look and then turned his back to Thomas, the manager. Okay? And then Thomas walked off and then I, and I looked and I stepped towards the customer. I said, hi, I think, you know, I greeted him. Thank you for choosing Burger King. May I take order, please? And he said, yes. And I went ahead and took his order. But it seemed like he calmed, he, he played it off or calmed down, but you could definitely see he was irritated especially through the body language after Thomas greeted him with Mo and he turned his back for a moment, not just for a second, for a moment. You know how you turn and you just turn around and then you turn back? He turned around for a moment. And then Thomas, you know, walked away, so. So right now I'm walking slow, but I'm already sweating a little bit. Miss Phyllis, um, it's like she would say a lot of times, she say she loves your son. I don't know who she's speaking to. It seems that way. I could be wrong, but that's what it seemed like today um, when I was close to her at the fry station. And I thought, um, appeared as I was about the blood, about blood. I said, I spoke my thoughts out loud. I've heard her say it for a long, a while, but I just sort of, just, you know, yeah, she didn't address me. It's not like Thomas. You know, I was hearing Thomas say mo for a while to the customers. Like when I say mo for over two months. But when he addressed me as mo, that's when I went ahead and um, spoke to um, the owner about it. The, the customers, I thought it was already odd for him to say mo. And he never said mo before to customers. Because um, I'm Moorish American. And, but... You know, I am, I'm trying to earn money. The customers didn't complain. And, you know, I, sometimes you just gotta pick and choose. Thank you, pick and choose your battles. But when he addressed me as Mo and not my name, that's when I corrected him. And he, and he tried to play it off. And he kept saying, Mo man, Mo man. And so I wasn't, I was hearing things. And that's when I went to Carl and asked him to please speak with him. And he denied it. But he was lying. So, so the same with Miss Phyllis. I hear her sometimes say she loves your son. But um, this time when I thought of her, she, I could. She was. I was next to her at the fry station. There was a black male real close to the counter, a customer waiting to get his meal. Um, I spoke of. Um, I spoke my thoughts out loud. Um, because I so I'm remembering the sequence of events. I remember I spoke about blood. I have to bring blood out. I was thinking about, and then my thoughts. You remember Dwayne Bethel, babe? She didn't question me about it, so she probably didn't hear me. But you remember how I told you I had the dream, and I told you I pricked my finger like this, and I was speaking about love and forgiveness. So, um, and I, I saw the blood. So, but anyway, getting back, regardless of what saying blood out or whatever, um, um, out loud, she must didn't hear me. So, um, sometimes I speak my thoughts out loud. Many people do. When you um, at a pause and uh, you wait for something to happen, like make fries or whatever, they many customers, many um, coworkers do. But um, you know, um, 
I just but getting back to her I mean I guess you know if she if she looks at me and say Rhonda she loves your son that's when I will address the owners and say why is she saying that to me like I did with Thomas so she can you know I don't know who she's speaking if she's saying that it's just like hearing um I um asked um Diamond when I saw she I heard her say something about she mumbled he f-u-c-k-u i um and i and i kept trying to get her to talk to me because i was like i know she just didn't say that but it definitely sounded like she said it it's like he f-u-c-k-u she's also we considered african-american she still works for Burger King, not continuously but on occasion and uh she went and she went and talked to me so you know um anyway um, and and cause I was like, cause she was irritated, and I didn't know why she was irritated that day. I remember that, and she, and, and it's definitely and she. It was like she said it in a mumble, like low tone, and um, that's why I wanted to question her, cause I'm there trying to earn money. Don't know any of them personally, not even the owners. Of course, I don't know the owners personally. So you know, it's like, why is she saying he f u c k u? Like I gave testimony. It sounded like she said, I don't know. I just thought it was odd. So I remember I did a, a document about it. Because you know we among unclean spirits that um, can, that are able to manipulate your thoughts while you're sleeping, molest and rape. So anyway, getting back to a long story short. Um, and I always give, um, i always proud and thankful to say I affirmed up whole constitutional laws. So for someone to be able to do that, you know, they have the code of telepathy, even, um, so they, and we, in Monty Gray Hyphen Bay, and I run the Arrington Hyphen Bay, I, as your wife, the way by, so they reject the code. So. We don't want it. It's more American. Hmm? Ice, water. You know, Imani and I still drink water, orange juice, some other juice like organic cranberry juice. Sometimes I'll just regular cranberry juice, um, some other juice, but mainly water, a lot of water. We don't drink sodas, and we're mainly water and orange juice, and or or organic almond milk. So um, it's it's going on two, I would say maybe two years now. No more than two, three years. It's been a while since I had a soda or a lemonade or sweet tea. I should say a soda or a sweet tea or something like that. Maybe three years. But um, um, I was at, you know, coffee. I just recently stopped maybe, I don't know, two and a half months ago, three months ago. So anyway, uh, and so anyway, getting back, so this all helps with detoxing and that's definitely what the sauna suit does it helps you detox and sweat which helps you um, think clearly and mentally and clearly meant and cleanse your mind balance your mind mentally um I haven't eaten with our vegan vegetarian meals. We um, have been eating a little more starch than usual. And then, cause I stopped for like a lot for like, I started not buy bread or potato chips. But my and I brought a few, a couple of times organic potato chips and um, a loaf of bread. Like I might buy some, a loaf of bread today. I haven't brought a potato in a while. I thought about getting a potato today. I'm not sure. So, um, the goal is for us eventually is be completely on raw fruits and vegetables. Um, vegan 